I went to a community, you know. We didn't actually come to preach. We were on holidays with my kids. But when we got there, there has been a mist on, on that particular area. It's a community on top of the mountain. It's a Budukato Ranch. When you drive, it takes about 45 minutes, sometimes up to 60, depending on the situation with weather, to get to the top. You drive on the ground to the top. So when we got there, the mist covered the whole place. First of all, halfway up the mountain, the mist covered the mountain. And you can't see, if you put your hand, you can't see. And then that narrow road, vehicles are going up and coming back with it. So I told the man to park. This is dangerous. Very dangerous. We found a place where they dug a little. You are driving around a mountain and going up. And there is nothing here holding you from the valley. You need to see nothing. I told him to park. That we need to go back. Maybe we made a mistake coming. Maybe I should have studied the weather before. But then the road is so narrow. How are you going to turn? So we have to complete. We are halfway. We have to complete this journey. How do you see? So that you don't jam the other vehicle coming the other way. So while I was a little worried, the Lord reminded me what he taught me before. He said, the way government is organized from federal to state to local government all the way to ward. He said, that's how divine government is organized. I said, what? He said, so anytime you run into issues that have to do with nature, talk to me or talk to in my name, to the person I put in charge of that locality that manages that place for me. He taught me that. Angels, read the book of Revelation. You see, some of these things you are talking about that's going to happen in the last days, whether it is tornado, earthquake, go and check. Angels at once administering. It's a time the, the light of the sun will be seven times as hot. One angel is in charge of heat. One angel is in charge of this. Sometimes a group of them are in charge of a particular area. He said, either you talk to me about that man so that he can get busy, or you talk to him in my name. So I just remembered it. And, and my kids were there. I think about four of them, plus my, on top of this one. So I remembered. So I, I now relaxed. Revelation brings peace. So I said, I've come here in the name of the Lord. Whosoever is in charge of weather and in charge of this particular local government or this mountain, in the name of Jesus, I want you to lift the cloud so that we can pass. Two, not less than two minutes after I said that the cloud lifted and the whole road became clear. I came with unbelieving mobile policemen. All of them gave their life to Christ because of this. Some of them were not on us. When we got to the top of the mountain, we checked into the Protea Hotel, relaxed, you know. We woke up in the morning to do morning devotion. Because we opened the windows, this mist has entered our room. You can't see. And then I opened the door to come out. You can't see. So I talked to the guy. He said it has been like this for three months during rainy season. That's how it is. So amazingly, that morning, our devotion was now about the divine government all the way cascades down from the trinity to the angels even the angels have ranking you have thrones you have dominions you have principalities you have powers so sometimes when we talk about principalities and power we only think about the demonic they only copied the structure of the ministry that they were serving it before they rebelled hmm? Colossians said he structured it like that, that all those things were created for him, by him, and for him. So we finished studying all that. So I, I told the Lord, these kids, four of them are here with me. I want you to show them something so that their faith will be 100% consolidated. I'm not doing this to show off. I want them to learn something about you. So I told them to come out. All this mountain that has been covered by this, this thing is going to lift. I said, you remember what we just studied? I did that study deliberately because of what happened on our way up. 
and then all of those mobile policemen came out all the, the villagers that came to attend to us and all they were there and then i said lord whosoever is in charge of this place whether it's local government chairman or county chairman whatever he is in his rank that governs this mountain i speak to you in the name of jesus lift this thing and lift it permanently till we leave so that this whole community will know that it's god that did it if you lift it and it comes back in the morning we're going to be here for three days they will think it's a coincidence i want it lifted permanently for three days till we are out and within two minutes again pastor Pujo, i have evidences i also had pastors that drove all the way from calabar to come and help us they drove in their own convoy the whole beast lifted all of those men both the ones that of course they even gave me land the community people all those whatever gave their life to christ because of that you see what is making the miraculous look whatever to you is that you don't understand the laws it's actually some fixed laws principles that govern this it's not because somebody has some special grace or some special anointing how can god give us this mandate all believers and not give us the tools to get it done to let you know that the mandate was given to all believers he didn't just say this has you follow them that believe have you read john chapter 14 verse 12 he said john 14 12, verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me that's the only condition to meet it didn't say if you have fasted 40 days. It didn't say if you have some special anointing. You know what is going to happen to our churches and ministries if we get into this? What started following Jesus will start following you. Then you then learn the other things we're teaching to consolidate that harvest. no matter how skeptical an individual is wait till he gets sick he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do and greater works than this i thought it would say if you fast 40 days like i did So, I now wanted to know the basis why this will happen. He says, because I go to my father. 